Sumner County teenager is recovering after surviving a car accident that killed two of her friends and left another fighting for his life. Tonight, we hear from Caitlin Taylor for the first time about how she's feeling and coping with devas the devastating news. The 17-year-old talked exclusively with News Channel 5's Emily Luxon. Everyone wants to know, Emily, how's she doing? Well, she is a very strong young lady. Caitlin has already come a long way, and she is determined to keep improving. She says support from friends and members of the community has really helped her through this tough time. Is this good for you to walk? Okay. For Caitlin Taylor, All right. when you're ready, each small step represents a big victory. Now I'm up and walking like 210 feet just the other day, so <laughs> I'm doing a lot better. With the help of physical therapy sessions at Vanderbilt Stallworth Rehabilitation Hospital, you do it without that hand on there. She's on the road to recovery three weeks after a horrible car accident. She needed help with just about everything when she got here, and now she's super independent. So. She's doing a really good job doing as much as she can on her own. November 3rd, Caitlin and three other Portland High School students were heading home from a bowling match when they were hit by a semi-truck at the intersection of Old Highway 109 and State Highway 109. 16-year-olds Austin Osborne and Kayla Perdue were killed. Caitlin and 16-year-old Justin Lemons were rushed to the hospital with severe internal injuries. The details of the accident are still hard for Caitlin to process. I think it's really starting to hit me now. It's been kind of a rough few days. Kayla was my best friend. <sighs> As Caitlin adjusts to the life-changing experience, the city of Portland has been by her side, rallying around her and the others in the accident. For the whole Taylor family, they're so appreciative of the support and the, um, the well wishes and the prayers, all of that. Um, along with the grace of God, has helped Caitlin get to the point she is. Caitlin agrees the balloons, stuffed animals, and constant visitors in her room have made a big difference. It just lets me know that I'm not alone and that people know what I'm going through. As that support helps Caitlin grow stronger, she's hopeful with each step. She's moving closer to a full recovery. I'm grateful for really being alive. <laughs> grateful to be alive. Caitlin heads home tomorrow, and she will continue outpatient therapy. Justin Lemons is still in critical condition at Vanderbilt. Now, an account has also been set up to help all of the families involved in the accident with medical expenses, and donations can be made at volunteer state bank locations in Goodlettsville, Hendersonville, and Portland. Rory? Emily, thanks so much. THP does continue to investigate the accident. No charges have been filed against the driver of that semi-truck.